Here we are on the sign in page for GitHub, and I've already entered some credentials for this user. These credentials are company credentials. I'm going to select sign in. Immediately, we're being prompted to allow one login to save the password for this site. I'm going to select yes. And then I'm prompted to add this application as a one login dash training app. That's a company application or for my personal use. Now, because the credentials I used are company credentials, I'm going to leave it selected as one login dash training and select add. And if we now click on the browser extension of the upper right hand corner, we will see GitHub and the username for this form space application, test learns. All right, here we are at Twitter, and I'm going to show you now how to add Twitter as a personal application. So I've entered in my username and my password for Sarah, and I'm going to select Login. And as you can see, Sarah is immediately prompted to save this application. Or Sarah has entered her personal credentials, so Sarah is going to be prompted now to add it as a company or a personal application, and Sarah is going to select Personal because those are her personal credentials. Now, you may of course have a company Twitter account as well. Your marketing team can add this application as a company app also. So I'm going to select Add. And now if we select the One Login Browser extension in the upper right hand corner, we'll see our company applications and the application we added earlier, GitHub. And if we scroll down, we'll see our personal applications at the bottom and the Twitter account that we added as a personal app. All right, here we are back in one login and I wanted to quickly talk about what happens when you add those company and personal apps beyond the fact that they appear in the browser extension and you can select them and go to them whenever you'd like. They will not be added for other users. So even if you're the account owner or the administrator, when you add a company app, it's only going to be in your company portal. If you want that app to be distributed to other users, then you need to go to apps, company apps, and then assign that application via a role or go directly to a user and assign that application to a user. Same for if you want to make any changes to the name. If you want to make changes to the name and change it from GitHub to GitHub 2.0 or GitHub developers, or something like that, then you can do that, but you need to go to the application and company apps and then change it there. Now for personal apps, because they're personal, you can just click on the pencil and then click on the personal app and you can change it right here in the portal very simply. At this point, I want to thank you for watching. Let us know how you like the video on our YouTube channel. If you have any specific questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to our awesome support team by going to support.onelogin.com. In addition, continue to check out our Help Center for up-to-date information on new features and all you need to know to use OneLogin.